Severity of malocclusion is a dominant factor in orthodontic treatment planning. Profit's well-known envelope of discrepancy provides reasonable estimates of the limits of tooth movement for growing and non-growing patients, including orthognathic surgery. These limits are not based in scientific facts, but rather are the opinion of an expert as to what is possible within periodontal safety and stability. It is the responsibility of the clinician to offer a treatment plan appropriate for the diagnosis that will accomplish desirable aesthetic and functional outcomes, as well as stable results. The treatment options for borderline to severe malocclusion in non-growing patients are currently either camouflage orthodontics or orthognathic surgery. The purpose of the present article is to compare current beliefs about scope of orthodontic treatment with periodontally accelerated osteogenic orthodontics, otherwise known as PAOO. Selective alveolar decortication is a surgery technique that facilitates orthodontic treatment and is performed within a week of the placement of active fixed orthodontic appliances. Following full thickness flaps, both labial and lingual cortices are intentionally injured with a surgical burr followed by augmentation bone grafting. Trabecular bone density is immediately reduced, tooth movement is accelerated, and the dimension and therapeutic pliability of the alveolar base is increased enabling greater range of tooth movement. Handelman, in a 1996 Angle Orthodontic publication, suggested that pretreatment alveolar housing reflects the soft tissue influences on stability. PAOO increases alveolar housing size through augmentation bone grafting. As described in the present article, PAOO treatment limits for incisors exceed the envelope of discrepancy described by profit for adult non-growing patients by two to three times in all dimensions except retraction. Excellent orthodontic care is based upon excellent diagnosis and treatment planning. With good treatment planning judgment, PAOO can be used to close 10 millimeter anterior open bites, 100% anterior deep bites, and severe arch width constrictions that exceed profits envelope of discrepancy. PAOO can be used to resolve 10 to 12 millimeters of dental arch crowding in either maxillary or mandibular arches, or excess overjet requiring incisor proclination. PAOO is appropriate for severe problems of the alveolar housing but is unable to resolve anterior posterior jaw disharmonies that grossly exceed alveolar size and therefore cannot replace orthognathic surgery. In the larger scope of patient care context, outpatient PAOO therapy can resolve many borderline surgery cases that have been previously relegated to treatment by inpatient orthognathic surgery. Compared to the non-growing adult patient, the scope of treatment by PAOO exceeds profits envelope of the discrepancy by two to three times for adults receiving orthodontic treatment only. The augmentation bone grafting and PAOO therapy increases the alveolar housing that enables an increased scope of malocclusion treatment.